business has a problem. Not one country has yet achieved full gender equality in entrepreneurship. While progress is being made to close the gender gap in some areas, women's economic equality remains a poor relation. Research shows we're actually going backwards. It's now estimated that it will be 268 years before women have the same economic opportunity as men. And this gets longer every year. Well, I am not prepared to wait that long. When 50% of the population experience enormous barriers to being business owners, we face a crisis of missed potential that not only holds women, families, communities and societies back, it just doesn't make economic sense. That's what the Sheree Blair Foundation for Women is working to change. Gender equality is a fundamental human right. It is simply not right that women across the world are still being held back shortchanged and denied their rights. And when women thrive, we all benefit. The ripple effect of a woman's success contributes directly to their local economy and touches lives across their families and communities. What's more, women entrepreneurs will power global prosperity. If women and men participated equally as entrepreneurs, our research shows the global economy will be boosted by up to $5 trillion. That need has never been stronger. The women entrepreneurs of today are creating a better tomorrow for everyone. We can't afford to leave them behind. So what needs to change and how? Deep-rooted gender inequality, damaging gender stereotypes and sexist attitudes persist everywhere and all impact on women entrepreneurs' success. Women face economic, social and legal barriers to setting up their own businesses. Inequalities in education mean they start their economic lives disadvantaged without essential skills and knowledge. Women and their businesses are regularly discriminated against when trying to access finance, business networks and markets. Gendered expectations around domestic and care work limit their time, empowerment and economic participation. Family and social attitudes and expectations undermine women's confidence and self-belief to lead businesses. These factors also mean women often run businesses in the most precarious and least lucrative industries, and so they're far more at risk. So how do we fix this? The solutions lie both in direct support of women entrepreneurs and in advocacy to change the world around them. At the Foundation, we work with partners across the world to deliver on the ground and online support programmes directly with women entrepreneurs. These address the specific barriers that women entrepreneurs face building knowledge, skills, confidence and access to resources. This supports women to start, grow and sustain successful businesses. Fundamental changes also need to be made at a global level and across societies to break the barriers holding back women entrepreneurs. We must work together and use our voices and influence to enact change. At the Foundation, we research and share our evidence. We advocate to change laws, regulations and practices so they stop holding women back. Our work has played a vital role in enabling hundreds of thousands of women to become better off, more secure and more independent. We've helped to create a level playing field for women entrepreneurs everywhere. I'm not going to wait another two and a half centuries before women are equally, economically equal to men, and I hope you won't either. Women's economic empowerment not only gives women life choices, it gives a better world for us all. The future must be equal. Join us to make that happen.